hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will create social media icons on website in neomorphism ui design style i have added five social media icons on website and each of them are placed in a square box you can see very nice box shadow around these icon box this shadow looks very beautiful because it is different in left top right and bottom its hover effect is also very attractive when i take cursor over any icon you can see shadow is changing this shadow effect is coming inside of the box with this shadow effect the icon box is also moving by 2 pixels and icon size is decreasing by 10 percent we will make this design using css in less than 10 minutes before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe easy tutorials youtube channel if you are new here now let's start this video so this is my project folder and here i have one html file and one css file now i will open my text editor so this is our HTML file and this is the CSS file. I have written basic HTML structures and I have already connected HTML file with CSS with this line of code. Next we will write code in body tag and here I will add one message so I am using h1 and in this h1 I will write follow us on social media. Now I will open my HTML file with Google Chrome so that you can see this text on this web page. Next we will add one color in the background so just come back and copy this body write it here in the css file for this body we will add background so this is the background color next we'll copy the h1 and for this h1 we will design so first we will write different font family and different font weight font size i will change it to 25 pixel and we will add some letter spacing we will add padding 200 pixel from top and 0 from left and right and 100 from bottom then I will change the color of this h1 and text align will be center. Let me refresh the web page and you can see this text in the center and there are enough space from top and bottom. So next we have to add icons so first we will come to the google and search for font awesome 5 cdn link. Now here you can see this website. Open this website. And scroll down and click on this button css from this css copy the first url now close this tab and we will come back in the html file here we will add link rel style sheet href and in this href we will add the url so like this we have connected the font or some icon cdn link next we will come to the body tag and here i will create one div with the class name social media in this social media first i will add one anchor tag with a and here we can put any url and then we'll write the icon code so this is the icon code for the facebook you can get this icon code from the font awesome website so here i will add hashtag instead of that you can add a url let me refresh the web page and you can see one icon on this web page which is facebook let me come back and duplicate this line and here we will change the name so second one will be twitter then whatsapp then instagram and youtube now refresh the web page again and you can see different icons on this web page next we have to move these icon in the center so just come back and copy this class name social media write it here in the css file and for this one we will set display flex and justify content center let's refresh the web page and you can see it is in center next we have to design the anchor tag so come back and here we will write a display and uh, background we will use the same background color then we will put some height and width height and width will be equal then margin next we will add some border radius and align items will be centered justify content center text decoration will be none let me refresh the web page and you can see some space between all the icons let me change the color so that you can see it is in different box right now you can see it is visible completely next we will add some shadow around these box so come back and here we will add box shadow in this box shadow we will add multiple shadow so this is the first one next i'll add one more So we have added two box shadow 
Refresh the web page and now you can see very good shadow around this box. Let me come back and I will change this color again. I will change the same as the background color. Refresh the web page. Now it is looking good. Next we have to design the icons. So here we will write A then I. For this icon we will change the font size and color. So now it is looking like this. Next we have to add hover effect. So come back in the CSS file and we will add hover effect on anchor tag. So copy this A, write it here, then write hover. And on hover we will change the shadow. So just paste it here and we will replace the shadow value. So it will be inset so that the shadow will come inside of the box. So here we will add multiple shadow again. So total we are adding 5 different shadow. Then refresh the web page. And now you can see if I take cursor you can see the effect on these icons. Next we will add some border also. So just come back and here we will add border 1 pixel. Solid and this color it is very light. And since we are adding it here so we will add this in anchor tag also it will be 0 so opacity will be 0 reload the web page and you can see very light border on hover next we want to move this box on hover so just come back and here we will add transform translate y to pixel and in this a tag we will add transition so we are adding transition transform 0.5 seconds that's it now refresh the web page and you can see the shadow is also changing and these box are moving by 2 pixel next we have to add hover effect on icons so come back and just copy this one write it here and here we'll put hover so on hover the size will be small so here i'm adding transform a scale 0.90 Refresh the web page and you can see when I over on this icons, the icon size becomes small. Next we have to add transition in this one also. So here I am adding transition transform 0.5 seconds. Reload the web page and you can see now it is working good. Next we have to add different color in each icons. So we will come back and here we will add this a hover and after that we will add different class name because we have different buttons so we'll copy the first class name for the facebook and here we will write color and this is the color code similarly we will duplicate it and change the class name it is for whatsapp and different color code So we have changed the color for each icon. Let me refresh the web page again. And now you can see if I hover on Facebook, you can see this color. If I hover on this icon, it's different color. And you can see the complete effect is working fine. So this is how you can 
create a neomorphism style of UI design using CSS. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.